We are all living in an unprecedented and a difficult time. And this novel coronavirus pandemic has indeed brought about a significant change in our lives. We have now got to think differently. The way we work and the way we socialize have all changed. In some ways, we have now got to behave as computers. We have got to recharge, we have got to reorganize ourselves and also delete some of the activities of our daily, daily living. And then we have got to reboot and then restart. On a positive note, this novel coronavirus has taught us some good lessons as well. It has taught few to socialize and these were the people who never socialized before and now they are socializing despite maintaining that social distance. It has also taught many good hygiene practices, which many never followed in their lifetime. But there are several questions that still need to be answered in this period of uncertainty. Whether the face masks that many government has advocated for the citizens to use when they go out in the public on the recommendations of the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and whether this use of face masks are going to be effective, if at all, in prevention of transmission of this COVID-19. Whether the lockdown, partial or complete, is going to contain the virus. And when we are going to see a breakthrough for the development of that vaccine or medication that we are all waiting for a long time that will help to fight against this unseen enemy and combat COVID-19. But the most important question many are asking that when this pandemic is finally going to be over. And the short answer is, we do not know. We have seen that the COVID-19 has primarily affected the lungs and then it has affected the heart. But all throughout, we have also seen that it has affected many brains. And when I say it has affected many brains, the minds of people have been working in a positive as well as negative manner. We all know that there are scientists and researchers who are working day and night to develop that vaccine, to develop that medication that will help to allay the sufferings of a large population of people throughout the world. But on the other hand, there are people who are advocating medications and therapies which have got no scientific basis they are completely useless and at the same time they can be harmful and dangerous. We have seen people who are devoting their time and money, they are taking part in charity, they are reaching out to those who are needy and poor. But on the other hand, there are also people who are spreading only hatred, divisiveness and polarization. We have seen many types of leadership and these leaders may be politicians, religious heads or policy makers. There are few who have done an excellent job and their jobs are indeed commendable and they have done a lot in combating this war against coronavirus. But there are some leaderships that have been an utter failure. The bottom line still is that the people who have taken this COVID-19 seriously are having a smooth sailing right now. But the people who have brushed it off are indeed in big trouble. So all in all, I can say that please be aware and stay healthy. Be careful, 
but do not be fearful. So stay safe wherever you are. Thank you very much.